In this video, we're going to review the rectangular coordinate system. Often in mathematics, we're concerned with plotting pairs of points, which we often call x, y, distinguishing the x from the y. So let's look at some examples and plot them on the x, y coordinate system. I'll start with the pair of points 1, 4. For 1, 4, we read this as x equals 1, y equals 4. And here's how we find this point. We follow along the x-axis until we get to x equals 1. That would be right here. Then from this point, since y is 4, we go up 4 units along the y-axis. That takes us to x equals 1, y equals 4. So that point is right here. And we'll label it 1 fourth. Let's look at a few more. Negative 2, 3, negative 3, negative 4, and 2, negative 2. The second point starts off with an x value which is negative, negative 2. So on the x axis, I follow along to the left and get to negative 2. Then the height is y, so that's equal to 3. So I go up to 3 since it's positive. So at negative 2, I go up 1, 2, 3. That gets me to this point here. So that's the point, negative 2, 3. Our next example has negative numbers as both values of x and y. So for x, I on the x-axis go over to x equals negative 3, then y is also negative. So when I get over to negative 3, I go down 4 units. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm now at x equals negative 3, y equals negative 4. My last example is the point 2, negative 2. So here, x is positive, y is negative. So on the x-axis, go over to positive 2, then follow down along the y-axis to negative 2. So from here, down 2 units. This is then the point 2, negative 2. You'll notice that the first point we plotted showed up in the upper right-hand corner. This is what we call the first quadrant of the rectangular coordinate system. And for all these points, both x and y are positive values. In the second quadrant, we have all the points where x is negative, but y is positive. In quadrant 3, both x and y have negative values. And finally, in the fourth quadrant, x is positive, but y is negative. You might think this covers all the different possibilities, but there are some xy points which don't show up clearly in one of the quadrants. Let's look at some more examples. Consider the xy point 0, 3. For 0, 3, x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3. So if x is 0, then as I'm on the x-axis, I don't move to the left or to the right. I stay right here. So the only thing I have to do is to move up to x equals 3. So from here I go up 1, 2, 3. So this point, which is a point on the y-axis, is the point 0, 3. Another example along the same lines would be to plot the point negative 1, 0. Here, on the x-axis, I move over to the left so that I'm at negative 1. And then my y-coordinate is 0. So once I get to negative 1, for y, I don't go up or down. I just stay on the x-axis. So 
this point here is the point negative 1, 0. All points which are on the y-axis will have 0 as their x-coordinate, and every point which is a point on the x-axis will have 0 as its y-coordinate. Finally, let's look at a couple more examples where the points we plot don't end up at one of these corners on the grid. Let's consider the point 3, comma, 2 and a half. Here, my x-coordinate is 3. So I go, go over to 3 on the x-axis. Then I have to go up in the positive direction 2 and a half points, or 2 and a half units. So I go 3 to the right. Then I go up 2 and a half. 1, 2, and I want to go half the way to the next line, which is 3. So 2 and a half is halfway between 2 and 3. So this is the point 3, 2 and a half. Finally, let's look at the example 7 halves negative 3. 7 over 2 is a number which I could rewrite as a mixed number or as a decimal. 2 goes into 7 three times with one half left over. So 7 over 2 is equal to 3 and a half, or we could think of it as 3.5. So that's my x coordinate. I go over to 3.5, then I'll go down 3 on the y direction. So I go 1, 2, 3, 3 and a half, or 3.5 takes me here, then I go down 3, 1, 2, 3, and that puts me here, the point 3 and a half, negative 3.